Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, Level Up Gaming. Thank you very much for choosing this video. You could have chose any video on this platform that we know as YouTube. You chose mine, so thank you very, very much. Now, this is my first ever YouTube video. I'm not trying to lie, trying to do anything. I'm just letting you know that this is my first ever YouTube video. Now, please leave some feedback. I would absolutely love to hear anyone's feedback regarding my first ever YouTube video, as I just said. I'm going to try and not actually edit this video. I might edit a few bits and Bob. Now, why am I playing Doki Doki Literature Club for my first ever video on YouTube? One of my friends actually suggested this to me. Um, now, I'm not a fan of anime, um, but they advised that this would be a good game to play. I have not heard a single thing about this game. The only thing I have done is actually apply some settings. Uh, as you see, music volume. I've got to turn this volume down as well, actually, because it's quite loud. Purely for the fact the music was way too loud. Uh, and as I said, I'm not planning on editing this video. I'm only planning on um, uploading this. Uh, uploading the full gameplay. Uh, let's play, shall I say, um, and uh, see kind of where we can go from there. I think we should just kind of get started, I think. Uh, I have no idea what to expect. It's a, it's a new one for me. And so I don't like anime. I don't, don't pay attention to much anime, but he said that I would enjoy this. I suppose we should just jump straight in. Please enter my name. Level up. Let's have a look. Oh, right, okay. So it's a talking game. Hey. I'm not going to speak. Right. You know, the kind of friends you'd never, never see yourself making today. It just it kind of works out because you've known each other for so long. Can I also just say I'm slightly dyslexic, I believe. Um, so I'm going to struggle to uh, read some of the dialogue or some of the names. Cause I've just seen a name there and uh, couldn't quite read it. So I do apologise um, in advance. So um, please bear with me. Uh, we used to walk to school together on days like this. But starting around high school, she would oversleep more and more frequently. And I would get tired of waiting up. I'll wait a bit. But if she's going to chase after me like this, I almost feel better off running away. However, I just sigh and idle in front of the crosswalk and let Seori, 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 catch up to me. Aha! I overslept again. But you caught me this time. Maybe, but only because I decided to stop and wait for you. You say that like you were thinking about ignoring me. That's mean. Level up. Oh, she's talking to me. Right, okay. I thought I was just listening to a conversation. Right, so I'm... Right, okay, okay, okay. I understand now. I just realised it says my name there, actually. <laughs> well, if people stare at you for acting weird, then I don't want to be... I don't want them to think we're a couple or something. Fine, fine. But you did wait for me after all. I guess you don't have it in you to be mean, or even if you want to. Whatever you say, Sonori. I don't know. We cross the street together and make our way to school. As we draw near, the streets become increasingly speckled with other students making their daily commute. By the way, level up. Have you decided it's on a club to join yet? What's clubs? A f exactly, a club? I've told you already. I'm not really interested in joining any clubs. I haven't been a, I haven't been looking either. Uh, that's not true. You told me we joined a club this year, did I? I'm sure it's possible that I did. In one of our many conversations, where demissively, demissively, go along with whatever she's going on about. Siori, Siori likes to worry a little bit too much about me when I'm perfectly content just getting on by, on the average by on the average while spending my free time on games and anime. Uh huh. I was thinking about how I was worried and I won't learn how to socialise or have any skills before college. Your happiness is really important to me, you know. And I know that you're happy now, but I die at the thought of you becoming a neat in the next few years because you're not used to the real world. A neat? I don't know. You trust me, right? Don't make me keep worrying about you. Alright, alright. 
I'll look up a few clubs if it makes you happy. No promises though. Will you at least promise me you'll try a little? Yeah, I guess I promise you that. Yay! Glad to let myself get lectured by a carefree girl. More than that, I'm surprised I even let myself resent her. Let to her. I guess seeing her worry so much about me makes me want to ease her mind at least a little bit. Even if she does exaggerate everything inside her head. Oh, right, something else. The school day is an ordinary day as ever, and it's over before I know it. After I pack my things up, I stare blankly at the wall looking for an ounce of motivation. Clubs? She already wants me to check out some clubs. I guess I have no choice but to start with the anime club. Hello? Sayori? Sayori must have come into the classroom while I was spacing out. I look around and realise that I'm the only one left in the classroom. I thought I'd catch you coming out of the classroom, but I saw you were just sitting here spacing out, so I came in. Honestly, you're even worse than me sometimes. I'm impressed. You don't need to wait up for me if it's going to make you wait to your own club. But I thought you need might need some encouragement, so I thought, you know, you know what, well, that you could come to my club, Siori? Yeah, there's no way I'm going to your club. Uh, Mini, Siori is a vice president of the literature club. Oh, right, that's where Mini comes from. Not that I was ever aware that she had any interest in literature. In fact, I'm 99% sure that she only did it because she thought it would it would be fun to help fun to help start a new club. Since she was the first one to show interest after the one who proposed the club, she inherited the title Vice President. That said, my interest in literature is guaranteed to be even less. Yeah, I'm gonna do I'm going to the anime club. Come on, please! Why do you care so much anyway? Well, Again, I told the club yesterday I would bring a new member and uh, made cupcakes and everything. Don't make promises you can't keep. I can't tell if Sonori is really that much of an airhead or she's so cunning as to have planned all of this out. I let out a long sigh. Fine, I'll stop by for a cupcake, okay? Yes, let's go. And thus, today marks the day I sold my soul for a cupcake. I dejectedly follow Sayori across the school, up the stairs, a selection, a section of the school I rarely visit. Sayori, full of energy, swings open the classroom door. Everyone, new member is here. I told you, don't call me new member. Um, I glance around the room. Welcome to the literature club. It's a pleasure meeting you, girl one. Sayori always says nice things about you. Seriously, you bought a boy? I'm a boy. Way to kill the atmosphere. Ah, level up. What a nice surprise. Welcome to the club, B Dot. All words escape me in this situation. This club is full of incredibly cute girls. Right, okay. What are you looking at? If you want to say something, say it. Sorry, Nadzuku. <laughs> the girl with the sore attitude, whose name is apparently Nadzuku, is one I don't recognise. What one was that again? Is that her? Or her? I'm assuming it's her. She looks upset right now. There's a lot of reading in this, I've just noticed. Didn't consider how much reading I, I, I suppose the game is called Literature Club, I suppose. But if you're still here, I appreciate you, of course. I, I don't recognise. Her small figure makes her look like a first year student. She's also the one who made cupcakes, according to Sayori. You can you can just ignore her when she gets midday. Sayori says that quietly into my ear and turns back towards the other girls. Anyway, this is Nazuku. She's always full of energy. And this is Yuri, the smartest in the club. Don't say things like that. Yuri, who appears comp more mature and timid, seems to have a hard time keeping up with people like Sonori and Nezuku. Ah well, this is nice to meet you both. And it sounds like you had to know Monica, is that right? That's right. It's great to see you again, level up. Monica smiles sweetly. We do know each other well. We rarely talked, but we were in the same class as last year. Monica was probably the most popular girl in the class, smart, beautiful and athletic. Basically, complete, uh, completely out of my league. So having her smile to me is genuinely, genuinely feels a little... Y you too, Monica. Come sit down, level up. We made room for you at the table so you can sit next to me or Monica. I'll get the cupcakes. Hey, I made them. I'll get them. Sorry, just got a little bit too excited. Then how about I make some tea as well? The girls have a few desks arranged to form a table. 
as Sinori mentioned, I've been it's been widened so there's a space next to Monica and a space next to Sayori. Nat, Zuki and Yuri walk over to the corner of the room where Nazuki grabs a wrapped tray and Yuri opens the closet. Over here I'm sitting. Still feeling awkward, I take my seat next to Sinori. Nazuki proudly marches, marches back to the table, tray in hand. Okay, are you ready? Ta-da! Whoa! Mizuki lifts the foil off the tray and reveals a dozen, dozen white fluffy cupcakes decorated to look like little cats. The whiskers are drawn with icing and little pieces of chocolate are used to make the ears. So cute! I had no idea you were going. You were so good at baking, Mizuki. Uh, well, you know, just hurry and take one. Sonori grabs the first one, then Monica, I fall. It's delicious! Sonori talks with her mouthful and has already managed to get icing all over her face. I turn the cupcake around in my fingers, looking at the best angle to take a bite. Mizuki is quiet. I can't help but notice she's sticking glances in my direction. Is she wanting, waiting for me to take my first bite? I finally bite down. The icing is sweet, full of flavour. I wonder if she's made it herself. This is really good. Thank you, Mizuki. Why are you thanking me? It's not like I haven't I heard this somewhere before. Made them for you or anything. Uh, I, th I thought you technically technically did, Sonori said. Well, well, maybe, but not for you, you, you know, dummy. All right, all right. I give up on Zuri's weird logic and dismiss this conversation. Yuri returns to the table carrying a tea set. She carefully places a teacup in front of each of us before sitting down to the teapot next to the cupcake tray. You can keep the whole tea set in the classroom. Don't worry, the teachers give us permission. After all, it doesn't... Doesn't a hot cup of tea help you enjoy a good book? Ah, I, I, I guess. Don't let yourself get intimidated. Yuri's just trying to impress you. Uh, that, that, that's not insulted. Yuri looks away. I mean, that, you know, I, I believe you. Well, tea and reading might not be a past thing for me, but at least I enjoy tea. I'm glad. Yuri faintly smiles to herself in relief. Marker raises an eyebrow and smiles at me. So, what made you consider joining the literature club? Um, I was afraid of this question. Something tells me I shouldn't tell Monica that I was practically dragged here by Sayori. Well, I haven't joined any clubs yet, and Sayori seems really happy here, so that's okay. Don't be embarrassed. Well, make sure you feel right at home. As president of the literature club, it's my duty to make the club fun and exciting for everyone. Monica, I'm surprised some of you decided to start your own club. You could probably be a board member of any of the major clubs. Weren't you the leader of the debate club last year? Ah well, you know, to be honest, I can't stand all the politics around major clubs. It feels like nothing but arguing about the budget and publicity and how to prepare for the events. I'd much rather take on something I personally enjoy and make something special out of it. And if it encourages others to get into literature, then I'm fulfilling that dream. Monica has Monica is a really great leader. Yuri also nods in agreement. Then I'm surprised there aren't more people in the club yet. It must be so hard to start a new club. You could put it that way. You could put it that way. Not many people are very interested in putting all their effort to start something brand new. Especially when it's something that doesn't grab your attention, like literature. You have to work hard to convince people that you're both fun and worthwhile. But it makes school events like festival, that much more important. I'm confident that we can really grow if this club before we graduate. Right everyone? Yeah, we'll do our best. You know what? Everyone's enthusiastically agrees such different girls all interested in the same goal. Marika must have really worked hard to find these three. Maybe that's why they're also delighted for a new member joining. Though I still don't really know if I can keep up with the level of enthusiasm about literature. So level up, what kind of things do you like to read? Well, um, Consider, consider how little I've read in the past few years, I don't really have a good way of answering that. Manga? Right. Can someone explain to me what manga actually is? Um, I've heard it being said uh, every so often. Uh, again, I haven't actually haven't actually looked properly into it myself, obviously, because it's, it's anime, of course. Just let me know in the comments, please, if you don't mind. I mutter myself, quietly half-joking. <laughs> Nazuki's head suddenly perks up. It looks like she wants to say something, but she keeps quiet. Not much of a reader, I guess. Well, that can change. What, what am I saying? I spoke without thinking, seeing Yuri's sad smile. Anyway, what about you, Yuri? Well, let's see. 
Yuri traces the rim of a teacup with a finger. My favourite are usually novels that build deep and complex fantasy world. The levels of creativity and craftsmanship behind them are amazing to me. And telling a good story in such a foreign world is equally impressive. Yuri goes on clearly passionate about her reading. Uh, she seems so reserved and timid since the moment I walked in, but obvious by the way her eyes light up that she finds her comfort in the world of books, not people. I'm going to leave this on a cliffhanger. I'm going to save this just now. Uh, I assume save game. I will. I'm assuming that's it. Uh, uh, yes, I'm going to leave this. Oh, I can't do it properly. Uh, exit. Oh, Doki Doki Literature Club DDLC. Oh. Wait, what? What's what's going on? I'm I've not actually seen this. Um. What 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 what's, what's this? Is it? All oh, right. Okay. So this is just the menu, right? Okay. I. That, I didn't expect that to be honest with you. That's got the right time on it as well. 805. And here in Glasgow. As you can probably tell, I am from Glasgow. My accent is very, very strong. Fortunately, I can't do much to change that, but I'm trying my best. If, if you need me to put subtitles on the video, just let me know in the comments below, of course. Uh, first impressions of the game, it's good. It's good. It's, it's a lot of reading. I'm assuming uh, that's what the game actually is. It's a reading game. Again, I haven't looked anything into this game at all so i'm just assuming it's just reading 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 so we'll, we'll see we'll see uh, how we get on with it i'll definitely want to complete it see what's going on see what the the hype's all about i say i'm gonna try and not really edit this too much there's been a couple of times where uh, i think I, I might need to drop a few edits in yeah, i'm losing my voice so there's been a couple of times that i've almost had to stop myself from coughing one day i'm gonna get good at this one day I promise you that i hope very very soon i'm gonna get good at this but please if you do enjoy this, if you want to see more of this content from me, level up, please drop a subscription uh, or sub. Is that what people call it now? Sub, drop a like, comment, give me some tips and tricks, I suppose, uh, regarding YouTube. But thank you very much. If you made it this far in the video, again, thank you so, so much. It, you don't know how much it actually means to me. And we'll go into a wee bit more detail regarding that down the line sometime why I'm starting this channel and, and everything else like that. Uh, we've got a couple of things planned not just games. So I'm hoping to put that in place very, very soon. Uh, but again, thank you so much for watching this uh, long video. Uh, I'm sorry for making it so long. Really do appreciate it. Drop a sub, follow me on Twitter. Uh, I've got a Twitter set up. Um, I'll have that in the, the, the description box below. So you can drop me a wee follow down. You'll be able to see any updates on what I have coming up in the future. Uh, but yeah, so uh, enjoy the rest of your days. Take care and I'll speak to you again very soon.